Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be setting up a UISP virtual machine. So we'll be hosting Ubiquity's UISP software. This is going to save money. I believe if you want to use Ubiquity's UISP hosting, it's free, but only if you have 10 plus devices. So if you have less than 10 devices, you're going to want to self-host your software or use something like Hostify.com who can host it for you, but that would also be for a monthly subscription fee. In this video, I'm going to use Rackdog's Cloud because I can. I'm going to make a new virtual machine with Ubuntu 22.04 in Ashburn, Virginia, using this a tier of two CPU cores, four gigs of RAM, and 60 gigabytes of disk storage. You need at least 16 gigabytes of disk, three gigabytes of RAM, and a few CPU cores. So with that being said, I'm going to fill in the connection information here. I'm going to paste in the username and password I'd like to have so I can connect to this device and we'll see that our monthly cost is going to be about $12 per month. We'll select create. Oh, I need to give it a name. We're going to say UISP video. So it's pretty simple creating a virtual machine in their cloud. You'll just click create and this is going to create the virtual machine. Now this is not going to, to install UISP or anything like that. We have to do that, and we'll do that here in a second as soon as that builds the virtual machine. All right, so we are now SSH'd into the virtual machine. Let me get rid of those bars there. There we go. So we're SSH'd into the virtual machine right now, and you'll see there's a few things we have going on. First of all, our time zone is set to UTC, and we have um, no updates available, so it looks like we're using a new image or a mirror, but it does say the list of available updates is more than a week old. So we're going to take care of that in a second here, but essentially the installation of UISP is just one simple command you can run. So let me go through the update process of the VM. I'm going to run sudo apt update dash y and and sudo apt upgrade dash y and and sudo apt auto remove dash y. This will update, upgrade, and automatically remove package. This will update upgrade and automatically remove packages that we don't need. So I'm going to let this run and we'll be right back as soon as this is done. Okay, so now that we have this done, we're going to run this command. Um, I'm pulling this from one of Ubiquity's help articles. Here's a link on the screen right here. I'll break down this command. It's literally a single command. So we're using curl with SSL. We're going to this link right here from uisp.ui.com slash install and we're going to store this on the temporary install script and then we're going to run that script. So we're essentially just downloading and running that script. Um, it looks like it's going to take care of everything for us along the process, so it'll be pretty simple. So it's going to install Docker for us, and it's going to essentially install UISP entirely automatically, which is really cool. One thing to note is that if you want to run a NetFlow server or that kind of thing, you can actually do that. Just follow the tutorial here. Um, that will give you some more information, but essentially you just need to set up a NetFlow listening port, and, and that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, one other note, though, while we're at it, is if you want to run UISP behind a proxy, you can specify the ports on it, or you can just use the Nginx configuration, which I just realized that there's no Nginx configuration, so let me pull one up for you. Okay, so really quick, I do want to take a look at the Nginx configuration. So as you'll see here, you specify a server name of uisp.yourdomain.com or any custom domain you want. You'll set your upstream um, variable here as the IP address of your UISP virtual machine. This can be a public IP address if it's port forwarded, or it can be a private one. Um, in this case, this actually is a public IP that I had, I guess, in this configuration. You'll see why in a second. Um, now we're going to proxy pass to an HTTPS URL with the port of 8081. So I believe actually it's port 443 or no port specified. Um, unless you need to specify your port, but in this case I'm using port 8081 as my upstream port. So that's why I'm using that. Proxy cache and proxy store are off. We're setting headers to upgrade. We are redirecting the URL to the upstream URL. We're setting a few headers here and just passing along the real IP address. So it's a pretty simple config. Copy this down, you'll be fine. You obviously cannot copy this stuff down from Let's Encrypt. You'll have to generate that all on your own. So it looks like it created all of the different containers for us in Docker, which means if we move this back over here, we can type in the IP address of our UISP virtual machine, and we should be good to go. As you can see, your connection is not private, so right now it's just using a self-assigned certificate. Um, but if you put it behind a proxy, you'll be fine because the proxy will give it a certificate. We're going to agree with the terms and conditions, and this is going to be where we set up all of the information. So let's get going. So we'll set up a username. We entered in our username, a strong password, as well as an email address. 
with a host name or IP address. This is where I would specify a host name if you want. Do that now. It's going to be a lot easier. We'll click on next. We're going to download our vault key. And this vault key is super important because every time you restart UISP, you need to re-upload your vault key because that's what's going to store all of the encryption codes, I guess, for your devices so you can control them and get credentials from UISP. So this is the UISP dashboard, if you didn't know. Uh, this looks very nice. I don't know why mine does not look this nice, but anyways, this is what UISP looks like. It's a really sweet interface, and you can get the UISP mobile app if you put in the IP address of your UISP instance. That's kind of how all that stuff works. So to add a device, you go to Devices, you click on the plus, and you'll copy your UISP key, and you'll go into your um, Air Max control panel, and then top right, you'll click on UISP, enter in that key, it'll show up in UISP, and you're done. Then you can do fancy things in UISP, like set up an email server. I think it's on this page. Yeah. You'll set up a mail server, run it through Gmail or something like that. You'll be able to get notifications and stuff from the email alerts, which is super helpful. It'll alert you for outages, firmware updates, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much all I'm going to go over in this video. Um, it's a sweet software. I do really enjoy UISP. I highly recommend you self-host it. Um, especially if you don't meet that minimum of 10 device requirement. Um, so that's pretty much all for this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.